Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So this is for the May Freight Crate. Yes, they've been behind. And unfortunately, it's about to be the end of an era because if you haven't heard, Freight Crate is calling it quits, which super, super sucks because they were the best uh, horror-related box out there, hands freaking down. So uh, while it is very, very sad, I'm glad that I've been subscribed to them for the past, I don't know, two years maybe at this point. Uh, got some great shirts, got some great pins, got some great all sorts of things, resin pieces, all that jazz. No clue why they're calling it quits. I don't know. Maybe that information's out there somewhere. They had just posted on Facebook that they're done. Basically, they're calling it quits. They didn't explain much of anything. So I guess it's just one of those things where you just be thankful for the great things that you got and the great times you had with the box and unfortunately move forward. I don't know. Hopefully, someone else will come along and you know have another wonderful <coughs> excuse me another wonderful horror mystery box like this one but i don't know at the moment it seems a little grim we'll see all right you can even see that since they're about done i took the label off but since they're about done you know they didn't even put anything on there no quotes like they usually do from horror stuff you can definitely tell they're just they're done so this is the second to last one uh, I did get this, the last one that they actually sold, which was the June box. So uh, you will see me unboxing the June box, and then that will be the end, the end. So second to last one, let's cherish this. And I've heard people saying that it's, I, I didn't hear any spoilers on what specifically is in it, but I heard people saying, you know, it really sucks too because this box was still good. So it's not like they're petering out quality-wise or anything, just, I don't know. So the packing... Um, usually do the shirt first, but there's a little resin piece on top. This is from, oh crap, what is this from? Oh yeah, I know. I haven't seen this film in its entirety. Species, I believe is what this is. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's, yeah, it, it's all one color. You know, this is kind of what they've been doing with, with the little magnet resin pieces. They've definitely been trying to keep it as simplistic as possible. Uh, decent sculpt, well, decent-ish sculpting to it. It's a little bit rough, if you can see. Some of the proportions are kind of off, a little bit sloppy sculpting-wise, but uh, I was going to point out that with these pieces, they've tried to keep them really simple. Usually the sculpting's better than this, but they um, always, well, not always, but recently have been trying to just keep it kind of one color to keep it quick and easy. So I don't know, maybe the logistics are starting to catch up to them, maybe... They just feel like they can't keep doing these resin pieces. I don't know what the deal is, but, um, you know, it's whatever. I, I'm not really a big fan of these. I wasn't really in the box for these types of things. I was in it for the larger resin pieces, the pins, and especially the shirts designed by Max Cave, which I'll do the shirt next. Um, I'm sure it's going to be awesome because Max Cave does an amazing job, and it's always good. Oh, wow. Okay. This is... <laughs> This is a movie I probably didn't want a shirt for, but I'll probably end up wearing it anyway, just because the design's really good, because I'm not a huge fan of this shirt. But I know some people are going to see this and be like, how do you not want to rock that shirt? How are you not a fan? Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses by Rob Zombie. I'm not a fan of this movie. I don't like it. Um, I like the, the last 15 minutes of it, to be honest, but this shirt design's really nice. It looks great. And of course, you got to have Captain Spaulding in the middle, uh, Sid Haig, because He's obviously the best thing about those movies, to be honest. But I will say, you know, I said I really like the last, like, 15 minutes of the movie. Interestingly enough, I listened to an interview with Rob Zombie where he said that that last, like, 15 minutes was just totally tacked on. It wasn't even in the, the original script or planned out story-wise. They just ended up having extra money in their budget. So they were just, like, feeling inspired and just, like, let's throw some cool stuff at the end. And... That's the best part of the movie. Like, I wish the whole movie was basically along those lines instead of what it basically was. But I don't want to dog on it too much because I know there are probably a lot of people out there who are huge fans of House of a Thousand Corpses. And I get it. I get it. All right. The next thing is a patch. I don't like patches because I have no use for them. But this one is designed. <laughs> this one's designed very well. I really like the look of it. And this is actually a horror movie that doesn't get a whole lot of love that... I've never seen any of them. There's a, there's an entire franchise. I've never seen any of them in their entirety, but I really need to. They've always been on my list, and that is um, 
Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Look at that. Like, I love the presentation of that. It's nice and cartoony, but it's also kind of scary with those nice pointy teeth. Uh, that's an imposing, very scary tomato. I would rock that. If I used patches, I would definitely rock this because it's really funny and it's well designed. So I dig it. Uh, the pin, I'll do the pin next. See, yeah, see, they're, they're really paring things down because the pin's just in a little bag. And before they were doing like an actual like backing to it and everything. So like a little card. Uh, yep, this one's pretty simplistic, but it looks good. It's Bride of Frankenstein. I like the kind of light pink. Uh, it, uh, to be honest, the color's probably not going to show up properly on my camera, so I'm sorry. I'm sure it looks like white or kind of a bluish on there. I apologize. Uh, it's a very light pink. Just know that. And and this is like an actual, This these portions are actual kind of like real skin tone, you know, but probably on the... Um, a little bit of a more pale, pale uh, scale like me, <laughs> but no, I mean it's a good pin. Their their pin, um, their pins are always designed well. So I guess the last thing, and they don't even have like a card in here explaining what everything is either. So they're really winding down, really winding down. Okay, so the resin piece usually do quite a good job on the resin pieces. What is this one? Oh, this must be Night of the Demons, which I've not seen in its entirety, and I really do need to. And looks pretty good. Yeah, Night of the Demons. I don't, I don't know what this is. I guess this is a, a knife with blood. That doesn't look very fleshed out. I mean, that's that doesn't look very good, to be honest. It's it's hard to tell what that is, but. The, uh, the texture on the shirt is outstanding. Like, that's a really cool sculpt. The painting on it's pretty sloppy uh, as far as that goes. Um, yeah, it's it's sloppy painting. But uh, they did a good job painting-wise on, like, the uh, necklace portion. And the face, for the most part, is pretty well done. Like, the eyes and the teeth, mouth in general. But, you know, there's some problems around the hairlines are a big problem. Let me see if I can... Like the way the way it's brushed on, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but like you can see how it's like darker in certain places. It's because there's like extra paint that's kind of, looks accidentally brushed on, and it's kind of happening on both sides of it. So that's why I'm saying pretty sloppy on the paint job. Could be worse though. It could be a lot worse. And then I don't, I just don't know what that's supposed to be. It's hard to tell. But yeah, I mean you can tell things are, you know, I don't think it's because. Um, things were naturally going that way. I think it's just because they're in the mode of we're winding down. We're going to be done with this. I think they're just not caring as much to be honest, unfortunately, but I don't blame them. You know, if, if the end's in sight and you're about to be done with it, like you don't really, you know, have any need to do the best work you can because you're not sticking around. So that's fine though. I'm not going to display this one. It's not, it's not that great for me. I do have some amazing pieces over there that I display. I think my favorite still might be the the gin from Wishmaster. Looks so good. Anyway, that's it. I mean, there's nothing else for me to talk about. I can't read you the little card that tells you the breakdown of what everything is. Um, pleasantly surprised with this. Uh, if I like, I said if I use patches, I'd be all into it. But I mean, it's a good box for the items that you get. But yeah, it's just so sad. Uh, we'll have to see what the final box is. I really hope they go out with a bang for that final June box. That would be really nice. But based off what's going on here, I think it's probably going to take another step down quality-wise is my guess. But we'll see. Not the t-shirts, though. The t-shirts are always on point. Uh, Max Cape, you're the man. But anyway, thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Go ahead and put some comments down here. How sad are you that Fright Crate is going away? But also... I've actually thought about maybe getting like a Zobi Fright Pack here and there. Not every other month when they do it necessarily, but just here and there when it looks interesting to me. Would you be interested in seeing me do unboxings of that? Or is there some other horror box out there that I'm not fully aware of that is a really good one that you think I would enjoy and it would be good to do unboxings of? Go ahead and put those comments down there. And then we can also just talk about, you know, Fright Crate and, you know, the items in this and everything, especially if you get it. But do me a quick favor, if you 
don't subscribe to me, you should subscribe to me and do me that quick favor. Literally just hit the subscribe button. It's quick, it's painless, it costs you nothing. And that, that is your way to repay me if you like any video I've ever done. If you like movie review videos, that's primarily what I do. That's a lot of what I do on my channel. So go ahead and check that out. I'm all over the place with horror too. So look into that. But regardless, I thank you for taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.